Okay, so the question is asking us to use the Mauber's theorem to evaluate z to the power of 4. And then we also want to leave it in rectangular form at the end. So first things first with uh, the with De Marvel's theorem, we need to change it to polar form. So drawing a little argand diagram for ourselves just to get our heads around it. Minus root 3, 1. We need to find the modulus. So or is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Or is equal to the square root of minus root 3 plus 1 squared. Or is equal to the square root of 4 or is equal to 2. We also need to find theta, the argument. But it's easier to go and find the reference angle. Okay, so a little diagram can really help us out here of what we've got. Or, we know this is root 3 long, it's a right angle triangle. Well, how do I know it's root 3 and not minus root 3? You've got to remember there's no such thing as a negative distance in this. Okay, so, right angle triangle, we can go tan or is equal to opposite over adjacent, or is equal to tan inverse, 1 over root 3. Now, make sure that your calculator is in radians, and it is equal to pi over 6. Now, we don't want in the reference angle, we want theta. Theta is equal to pi minus, or theta is equal to pi minus pi over 6, theta is equal to 5 pi over 6. Now that we have our theta and our modulus, we can go and write it in polar form, which is or cos theta plus i sine theta, z is equal to 2, cos 5 pi over 6 plus i sine 5 pi over 6, z to the power of 4, cos 5 pi over 6 plus i sine 5 pi over 6. And because we've done the left hand side to the power of 4, we need to do the right hand side all to the power of 4. Now we're going to apply the Marvers theorem. What does the Marvers theorem say? It says that the modulus gets put to the power and that the arguments get multiplied by the power. So 4 times 5 pi over 6 plus i sine 4 times 5 pi over 6 z to the power of 4 16 cos 10 pi over 3 plus i sine 10 pi over 3. Now we want to leave it in a, a rectangular form at the end, so we need to multiply it out. 16 by cos 10 pi over 3 is equal to minus 8. 16 by sine 10 to the power, sine 10 pi over 3 is minus 8 root 3i. We can leave it like that. So it's a 15 mark question. There's no real tricks in the question. It's actually quite nice. Marking scheme is 0, 5, 8, 12, 15. So if you'd done your revision in complex numbers, you'd be pretty confident of having done pretty well in that question. The next part of the question. The next part of the question actually gives you an awful lot of information and it's very easy as well. The complex number w is such that the modulus of w, so let's just think about w, or is equal to 3. You need to know that that's the length of w, the modulus of w is 3, and they give you the angle, so theta is equal to 30 degrees. Now it's kind of strange that they give it in uh, degrees, so let's change it to radians is pi over 6. Okay, so now we know a lot about w. w is equal to 3 cos pi over 6 plus i sine pi over 6. And they ask us to find t. And t is z by w. 
Well, we know z from the previous question was 2 cos 5 pi over 6 plus i sine 5 pi over 6 multiplied by w, which is 3 cos pi over 6 plus i sine pi over 6. Now, how do you multiply in polar form? Multiplication in polar form. You multiply modulus and you add arguments. And while I'm at it, I might as well actually say division in polar form. We divide modulus and we subtract arguments. Mm -hmm. So t is equal to 6 cos 5 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 plus i sine 5 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 t is equal to 6 cos of pi plus i sine pi and it says in its simplest form so you might as well multiply it out 6 minus 1 plus i 0 t is equal to minus 6 10 mark question, 0, 4, 7, 8, 10. Really, really nice, and I think it's a start. The first two questions of 2017, really accessible and really quite nice.